Conditions on Saturday were bright and breezy, with a fresh southwesterly force 5 to 6 breeze and a strong spring tide to kick up the seas. Most of the Solent action was on the North Shore, where the final round of the Warsash Spring Series was concluding. While over in Cowes, we had the first weekend of a Cowes Keelboat Solent Series, hosted by the Island Sailing Club. First away were the Darings. Traditionally, this fleet has the biggest turnout of all the Cowes Dayboat classes, and this weekend was no exception. Being the start of the season though, only seven turned out, but they showed that a winter off had not dulled their starting abilities, and in a strong ebbing tide, all bar finesse managed to make a clean start. The first mark was Gurnard Ledge, before heading across to the North Shore to Ray Marine. It was Defiant which led the fleet ahead of Damsel and Double Knot, while behind them, finesse had made good gains after restarting. In fact, Finesse continued to work her way up the fleet into the lead, and she won the race after two hours racing by just three seconds from Damsel, with Defiant taking third, just ten seconds astern. Whilst the Daring fleet showed attention to detail on the starting line, the three strong Dragon fleet didn't, and they were not even close to the line when the start gun went. Even worse, they all started on the wrong side of the inner distance mark. They battled west through the increasing seas on the same course as the Darings, with Ecstatic leading the way, followed by Cool Runnings and Cavalier. Although none of the fleet had actually started, race officer Peter Dixon let the result stand, and in the end it was Ecstatic which won, while Cavalier retired, and Cool Runnings was recorded as did not finish. This year, the new Cowes Exboat Division is a new addition to the Keelboat series. The fleet is said to have 14 boats, but only three turned up to play today, perhaps put off by the fresh breeze and lumpy conditions. Neil Clifford approached the start line early and on the wrong side of the inner distance mark. He turned round to recross, but still missed the inner distance. Sarah Ross, in only her second season at the helm, got the best start and was the right side of the inner distance. She led the fleet away to the first mark off the green. Jonathan Nash sailing 127 was caught down tide of the line, so he started last, but he quickly made up ground, partly by making the Red Funnel Ferry wait for him as he crossed the channel. Sarah Ross rounded the first mark in the lead. Behind her came Neil Clifford, with Jonathan Nash in close pursuit. At the finish, Sarah Ross won by 36 seconds from Jonathan Nash, while Neil Clifford failed to finish. The Island Sailing Club sent the fleets to the east in glorious sunshine on Sunday with a perfect Force 3, but has swung to the southeast. Today, the Daring Fleet only mustered five boats, but nonetheless they enjoyed perfect conditions. With the tide ebbing and the first mark to be left to port, it was a difficult choice to start inshore for some tide relief or further out for the inside berth of the mark. Near the mark the wind headed and it was dynamite which reached the mark first, closely followed by finesse and darling. Defiant had a poor start and first leg and wasn't well placed at the first mark. The course was a tricky one, taking the fleet across the strong tide and back again with some tough decisions to be made on the beats. In the end, it was Defiant which recovered from her poor start throughout the two and a half hour race to take an excellent win by two minutes, 39 seconds. In second place was Dynamite, 16 seconds ahead of Double Knot. Four Dragons turned out on Sunday and were rewarded with the great conditions. Cool Runnings was showing good form in the lead, and on the beat back from West Knoll to Norris, they did a good job of avoiding the Warsash Spring Series fleets, 
and judging when to head across the tide to the island shore. They led Dilemma and Cavalier in a good tactical beat past Old Castle Point, while Niord fell back by coming across the tide much later and slipped behind the other three. Having had to avoid the Warsash fleets on the beat, they now had to round Norris to starboard, while the Warsash fleet left it to port. Fortunately, everyone got away with it. Cool Runnings won the race, with Dilemma in second, over two and a half minutes behind, while Cavalier was another three minutes astern in third. The same three X-boats turned out for the Sunday racing, and today Jonathan Nash played the start better and quickly took the lead, followed by Sarah Ross. The lighter breeze and strong tide caused them all problems on the beat, and big gaps opened up between them. Although Jonathan Nash had a big lead as they beat up the Shrape to Norris, it was Sarah Ross who battled on to be the only boat to finish and take her second win of the weekend. Whilst the UK is struggling in the grip of recession, you'd hardly have known it on the Solent this weekend. The last weekend of racing for the Warsash Spring Series and the Solent Championship saw a strong fleet turn out to revel in the glorious conditions. The Solent looked so packed with boats at times that it became hard to pick out the smaller one design boats for the Cow's Keelboat Series. Recession? What recession? Let's go sailing. Next weekend is a bank holiday and we'll be reporting on Jog's race to St. Var, Rourke's Cervantes Trophy race, the second round of the Far 45 David Deal Trophy, the Etchell Sir Kenneth Preston Trophy and the second round of the Cow's Keelboat Solent Series. See you then. <laughs>